So I was gonna make a video today talking about JT Miller and the 50% salary retained idea that's been floating around there, plus the fact that his price on the market could be extraordinarily high. But the Vancouver Canucks had themselves some news that I needed to talk about instead. Before we go over this though, I do want to say one little thing right here, just giving out my thoughts to Brock Besser and his family. This is the update that we saw on Twitter. It's posted by Quadrelli. Brock Besser's mother, Lori, posted this update on the family's public caring bridge page this morning. Awful, awful news regarding Brock's father, Duke. Thoughts are with the Besser family. Dementia does indeed suck. Let's read this first and give our thoughts and acknowledgements to the Besser family before we go over Linus Carlson. May 26, 2022. Our beloved Duke is skating his last lap around the hockey rink. He is at home, resting. Our family is close by his side. He's had some wonderful visits from family, friends, and neighbors. Please pray for his comfort and peace as he makes his way home to our Heavenly Father. Please pray for our children, as this is very hard for them to let go as well. So, this is some terrible news that we had on this day. So, my thoughts personally are with Brock, his father Duke, his mother Lori, as well as the rest of the Besser family as well. With that underway, though, let's go over the main piece of Canucks news that we have to digest. It is Linus Carlson, who has indeed been signed to an entry-level contract. Let's go over what the Canucks website writes up about this guy. Vancouver Canucks GM Patrick Alvin announced today that the club has signed forward Linus Carlson to an ELC. We are excited to officially welcome Linus to Vancouver. He is a good goal scorer who plays a solid two-way game, and he is coming off an impressive rookie season in Sweden. We look forward to seeing him develop his game in North America. Carlson, 22 years old, appeared in 52 games with Skellefteå AIK of the SHL, last season leading the team in goals and ranking second in overall scoring with 46 points. His point total also ranked ninth league-wide and was first amongst all SHL rookies, earning him the honors of the SHL Rookie of the Year. He skated in six playoff games with Skellefteå AIK, contributing one assist in the process. Previously, Carlson spent three seasons in the Hockey Elsvenskan, registering 109 points in 152 regular season games, split between Karlskrona and BIK Karlskoga. He also collected 18 points in 17 postseason Elsvenskan games. A native of, okay, I'm gonna butcher this one, Exio, Sweden, Carlson has also represented his country on the international stage on multiple occasions, totaling 11 points and 6 penalty minutes in 15 games. The 6'1", 178-pound forward was originally selected by San Jose in the third round, 87th in the 2018 draft, but was acquired by Vancouver via trade on February 25th, 2019. That was the infamous second Jonathan Dolian trade. Now, if we go over to Linus Carlson and we review his profile over here on Elite Prospects, we can see a lot of the same things that we had seen on the press release. 6'1", 194, right-handed center, and he's a guy that was taken in 2018. This is what the scouting report says on Elite Prospects. He's got good size and good goal-scoring ability. He has fine hands and overall offensive skills, very good hockey sense, and great character. He's got a nice shot and combines that with his ability to read developing holes in the offensive zone, quality game from the face-off dots to the end boards as well, according to Draft in Europe 2018. As we had noted, he was one of the better productive forwards in the entire SHL, getting 46 points in 52 games, and if you highlight the guys that were above him, I mean, there are some pretty notable names here on the list. Ty Ratty is over here, Max Verono was the second most productive player, Ryan Latch was the top SHL point producer. So as a rookie, it is good to see Linus Carlson do what it is that he did. We noted earlier on in the season how he did outproduce Elias Pettersson when Pettersson was a rookie in the SHL, but you gotta remember Pettersson was 18, 19 years old, Linus Carlson was 22, so they aren't in the same realm in the slightest, but it is a good thing to see him producing at a high capacity than not, right? So either way, for Linus Carlson signing his entry-level contract with Vancouver, we'll see if he gets loaned out to the SHL once more for next season, if he plays in the Abbotsford Canucks system next season, or if he gets a full-time crack at being a Vancouver Canuck too, it all depends on how well he translates and how he's going to take his game over to North American ice. We will see where exactly everything goes with Carlson and his future, but for now, talk to me in the comments, lay your thoughts about this Vancouver Canuck signing. I hope you enjoyed this British Rajol 9 and bye.